What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. Today we're going to look at two different reg systems from two different manufacturers. We're going to talk about the value of them. We'll give you a quick history lesson and how they came to be. And then we're going to talk about whether or not buying used is going to be your best option, especially if you're new to diving. So what are we looking at today? I've got a D12 from the Decor line. It was basically the Decor Viper system. And it's a complete set. I've got a first stage, both second stages, low pressure hose, and I've even got a Decor two gauge, or actually this is a three gauge console here and then i've got a mr12s this is from the mares line once again it's the mares viper and it at a quick glance you're going to say well they're the same second stage everything's the same even if i showed you the first stage they're virtually identical and they really are but why are two different manufacturers the same well, it's real simple, actually. The Decor line, there was actually two different branches of Decor. There was Decor and there was Decor US. So Decor US was located in Chicago, Illinois. And in the 90s, they were really big in the 70s and 80s. When the 90s, Mares bought out Decor US. And they took all their reg systems from that day and age, any of the big bulky first stages and second stages, and they pretty much just sunsetted them out. The only one they really kept was the Viper line. But instead of doing the Decor Viper, they started making the Mares Viper, which is essentially the same reg system. The housings are virtually identical. I can take the faceplate off the Decor and put it onto the Mares and vice versa. I can take the old exhaust port cover off the Decor and I can put a brand new Mares on. The diaphragms inside are identical. The uh, demand levers inside are identical. So that was the only series that Mares continued from the Decor line and they were a great rig set. One of the things that really turned me on to them was the side exhaust port. So when you donate to an out of air diver, you didn't have to do that little S curve with your hose or whatnot. You could actually donate simply just by flipping it over and handing it to him. Because with the side exhaust port, it was gonna breathe efficient and it wasn't gonna be any type of wet breathing simply because you had the second stage upside down. So they were a great system. Now, eventually, Decor completely sunsetted, Mares completely sunsetted that, and we just have the Mares line as well. So this is the Mares or MR12S from Mares, and it's in the Viper series. And once again, it's a complete set. First stage, both second stages. I do just have just a generic um, pressure gauge here, but same low pressure hose. So let's talk a little bit about the value of each one of these and whether or not they're gonna be good for you to purchase. Now, if you're a gear junkie like me, you've been in this industry for a while, yeah, it's gonna be a great purchase because it, it's pretty cool to see two different manufacturers make the same thing. Um, however, that being said, it may not be the best value for you to go out and use. Now, if you're an experienced diver, maybe you're a gear technician and you can service these items, then yes. But anytime you buy used, when I buy used or before I owned a shop, one of the things that I did was, is I always concerned myself with, can I find parts? Well, I can tell you right now, Decor has not been in business for many, many years. You are not gonna find parts for a Decor rig set, with the exception of this Decor Viper series. The reason is, is the Decor D12, Decor 12, and the MR12, Mares MR12, are essentially the same reg set. So my parts kits for the MR12, both first stage and second stage, will go into the Decor system. Yes, I can service it. This would be a great value for you. You could purchase this reg set used, you could take it to a Mares dealer, they can rebuild it, and off you go with a pretty good reg set. However, I wanna throw this at you. The MR12S from Mares was discontinued several years ago. Yes, there are still parts kits being made for it. I've got a whole slew of them downstairs simply because this is my personal MR12S and I'd like to continue to use it for several years. Um, but with that being said, I don't know how long these parts kits are gonna be available from Mares. So when I try to explain to people that when you find a decent reg set or a used reg set at a decent price, you need to really break down the numbers and say, okay, what's it gonna cost to get this reg set back up and going, and how long is it gonna last before they quit making parts kits to rebuild it, versus 
what's it gonna cost just to buy, say, a new reg set? Now, like I said, this particular reg set here, a young lady actually brought in, wanted to know if I could service it for her. I said, absolutely, I've got the parts kits in hand, I'll throw them in, have it back to you in a day, and we'll be good to go. But the closer that I got to it and the more I examined it, I started to see a lot of corrosion in the first stage and more corrosion than I've ever seen on any other reg set. So I kind of had to call her up and say, hey, this is what we come into. It's going to cost you this much just for me to get it cleaned up to where I can service it. Then you're going to have the service fee on top of it. And to be honest, at the end of the day, her price to get this reg back up and going was about 75% the cost of a brand new reg system with a warranty and within her budget or her price range. So at the end of the day, she made the decision to actually trade in. I actually gave her full value of what it would cost for me to clean it, service it, test it, and get it back up and going. I gave her that full value of that as a trade-in to get her a brand new reg set. She's much happier. She's gonna have a reg set that's gonna last 10 to 20 years. She didn't have to spend money on a system that's only gonna be good for a year to only spend an extra 25% to get a new reg set a year later. So in this situation, this really good deal that she come across, unfortunately was not a good deal. Even though there were parts kits available based off its current condition and with how much cleaning I was gonna to have to do to it, she was better off in the long run just to buy a new rig. But guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope that kind of explains the history of the MV. I know in the past, a lot of you guys have asked me about was the decor the same as the Mares and all that. Uh, in short, just a quick recap, Mares bought Decor US in the 90s, and this was the only reg set that they continued to produce for a while. They did discontinue the 12S series uh, a few years back. They are still making parts kits, but nobody knows really how long they're going to be producing parts kits for it. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe two, maybe three years, and then of course they'll probably sunset those as well. But guys, just think about it. If you're in the market for a new reg, maybe you're new to diving, sometimes it's better to spend a little more up front than to spend a lot more over the long haul simply because your budget's not there or simply because you just don't want to spend the money. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you got any questions on either one of these models, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Let me know if you do dive an old decor system. Maybe, maybe you're an old gear junkie like me and you like a bunch of old timey regs. Let me know what you use down below because I like to learn from you guys just as much as you learn from me. As always guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me and definitely share it. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.